Okay, today we're going to make a beef tortilla pie. I'm using a 8 inch spring form tin. You can use any size that fits your um, tortillas. I'm using the six regular so they fit in here perfectly. I'm using a tin of diced tomatoes, olive oil to spray my tin, two diced carrots, one diced zucchini, um, this old El Paso spice mix for tacos, the tomato paste, one diced onion, garlic, two cloves of garlic, and the sour cream for serving. And today I'm going to use two packets of extra lean beef mince, or ground beef. Um, the recipe calls for 500 grams, but I'm going to use a kilo over. And on top of it, we're going to use roughly 100 grams of light, tasty cheddar cheese. But once we um, put it all together, if I use more, I'll let you know exactly how much I've used. So in your non-stick pan, you're going to add your onion, two cloves of garlic, which is roughly two teaspoons, your grated zucchini, and your carrot. Now you're just going to gently sweat this down on the stove for a couple of minutes before adding the beef. Be sure to add two sprays of olive oil. Now that these have wilted down just a little bit, I'm going to add my one kilo of beef mince, or ground beef. I'm going to add the spice mix. All I'm going to do is pop this back on the stove, bring it all together and just cook it through a little bit longer before we add the paste and the tomatoes. Right, now that the mince has cooked all the way through, now you don't want to overcook it at this stage, you want to make sure that your mince remains um, quite tender and juicy. You don't want to dry it out. So all you're going to do now is add your two tablespoons of tomato paste. and your, your tin of tomatoes. Now my tin of tomatoes has uh, basil and oregano in it, but you could just use plain. It's totally up to you, it's your preference. Now I'm just gonna pop this back on the stove for a little bit longer and um, cook it down for a little bit. Now if you see any juices coming out, what you want to do is you want to continue cooking it until all of the juices have reduced. Uh, you do want a dry mixture when you're putting it on the tortillas, otherwise it's going to soak through and you're going to end up with a soggy mess. So continue cooking this on the stove top until um, the liquid has reduced and you're left with dry mince. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Right, so this is what we've ended up with. Mine is fairly good. There's a little bit of liquid in there, which is fine, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Um, it's quite late here and I need to get this in the oven, but ideally you could just drain it out a little more or cook it. I'm just going to use this utensil, which has got drain holes in it, which will allow me to get a nice dry mixture into my pan. So all I'm going to do is lightly spray my springform tin. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with one layer of tortilla. And then you just really gauge it of how much you need to put in there. And all I do is just pat it down nice and flat. It's really up to you what size tin you use and how thick your layers are. So when you're happy with that, you just pop on another layer of tortilla. Another layer of mince. 
like a lasagna, you just continue layering until you get to the top, making sure it's nice and even. Pushing it down nice and flat. I can get one more layer out of this. On the last layer, just use up all of the beef that you have left. And as you can see with draining, I still have quite a bit of liquid in the bottom there, which um, you ideally do not want to put into this dish. It's going to make your tortillas a little bit soggy. So all we're going to do is finish off with a tortilla and then our cheese. I'm going to use my Weight Watchers scale to weigh out my cheese so that it makes it easy to count the points in the end. So I'm just going to firstly weigh out 100 grams and we'll see how this looks. I'm happy with 100 grams on there. I think I don't want to add too much, otherwise you'll be adding too many points. So, so what you want to do now is pop this in the oven 180 degrees for roughly <clears throat> 20 minutes until it's golden and brown. So this is how it turned out. It's all nice and crunchy and golden on the top. So all I'm going to do now, it's very hot, let it cool down for a little bit remove the outer ring of the pie dish and then slice it up. So this is the tortilla pie once I've sliced it up. You can see it has got even layers of mince and tortillas and you can see that it does cut quite nicely. It's nice and firm, it's not messy and runny um, and it's very easy to serve up.